does marijuana affect testosterone levels? So this is the age old question. Does smoking marijuana or taking THC in any form affect testosterone? Well, I had to go back and look at all the details in the data. So if you look at data from the past 1970s, 80s into the 90s, you'll see data say that it actually lowered testosterone and affect gonadotropins and maybe even caused low uh, semen counts. Now, if you look at data today, it says the opposite, maybe, or maybe no effect at all. Let me talk to you about the more recent research. There's a couple of uh, very important journal articles more recently, and this would be the World Journal of Urology 2020, because I got to present evidence-based medicine for you guys. And that showed that a group of urologists looked at this and it actually increased testosterone. That was one. Another one in andrology showed there's a dose-dependent response between increasing serum testosterone and decreasing time since the last time you used it, that means that the more recently a man has smoked THC, that his testosterone levels are higher. Also, Stanford University Department of Urology showed that THC use is independently associated with increased sexual frequency and does not impair sexual function. So there's no question that we have no idea what marijuana use does to a man's testosterone. Maybe it does make you hornier. It seems like anecdotally, you talk to men, they smoke marijuana and they have great sex. Maybe is it increasing your testosterone level and you get that increased sexual response? No one really knows. In addition to this question, does marijuana increase testosterone or decrease testosterone through whatever mechanism, it's central nervous system or directly in the testes or some other mechanism, there's also a question of, does it cause gynecomastia? So th that is even more mired in questions and just there's no data to support any of this at all. So what do I see? What's the bottom line for this? Well, if you smoke marijuana, I think, and it's something positive and you do it on a regular basis and it relaxes you and you feel better, it's probably not gonna affect your testosterone. But if you smoke too much marijuana, it does have cognitive effects, right? You know, you're kind of spaced out and you see that in a dose dependent fashion that you're smoking more marijuana and you're more numb, if you will. I think there's a lot of studies that support this. Again, I am not for it or against it. And medical marijuana, I'm for. I used to prescribe it for people that had Crohn's disease, that had real suffering with PTSD and a bunch of other medical conditions uh, that it helped them. And it's always better than narcotics, right? And it's better than booze. And you guys, I'm sure, agree with that. So also on a dose-dependent fashion, you're gonna see cognitive issues, fatigue. Now, weight gain. Let's talk about this. This is really my end point for you guys. So if you smoke marijuana, take enough of it, you're gonna get the munchies. If you get the munchies, you're gonna be downstairs at night eating brownies and potato chips and maybe before or after the sex. And you're gonna, if you do it regularly, what's gonna happen? Especially if you're getting middle age or older, you're gonna gain weight. If you gain weight, is that gynecomastia? Are those bitch tits or is that just fat gain? Next, are you becoming a diabetic or impaired fasting glucose guy? Is it impairing blood pressure, cholesterol? Can you end up being heavy and sluggish? And if you're heavy and sluggish and you have sleep apnea and prediabetes or diabetes itself because of the munchies every night and you're a regular guy anyway, is that itself gonna lower testosterone? Boom, so there it is. So in the end of the day, be very careful with THC guys. You know this, if you smoke it and you use it sparingly, rock on. You know, talk to your doctor about it. You can get your testosterone levels checked. And maybe if you do smoke some pot the night before and you want to have low testosterone levels, don't do it. Because the data shows that it looks like if you smoke pot recently and you go for the labs, levels are going to be up. So if you want to show low testosterone levels, 
that is if, if you do, you want to actually not smoke pot, so it might actually lower it. Thank you very much, guys. This is kind of a fun 420 for you guys. Hope it helps everyone. Thank you so much.